amigos, what's up? So here we are at another job. We're gonna be replacing or fixing this manifold. Um, it started leaking and it used to fill up with water. So we would turn off the water, the water's on right now. But you can tell that it's all dirty and where you can tell itself it's cleaning, that's where it's leaking from. It's a T that's cracked. So we're gonna go ahead and replace it. You can, so, you can tell how hard it is to be able to even dig around here or maneuver your hands around. So we're gonna go ahead and attack it and see how hard it can get for us and possibly we can finish fast and make some money. If not, the longer we take, the less money we will make. So stay up for the progression and welcome to Atrocities Upon Cities. All right guys, so welcome back. We're gonna be cutting here. Um, it was harder than we thought. We have to actually replace the whole manifold. I've told plenty of my customers before that the easiest thing to do sometimes is just go ahead and replace the whole manifold. So you see me here taking it out complete and that's how I know how to put it back on. You can tell that it's been replaced before. All these parts, even if I tried to replace them, it would be harder. The easiest thing to do is just to replace the manifold, you know? So everything's a clear cut now and I'm able to restart from scratch and get it done. Since I've done this more than a hundred times, almost a million, it's easier to just replace the manifold than to try to fix something that was just broken. So things that we've learned over the years. Thank you guys for watching and um, you'll see more progression of how we're gonna continue to do in this manifold. Right here, you just see me clearing out the areas with mud, trying to find out more things to do and how we're gonna go ahead and rebuild this crazy manifold. Remember the cement here makes it harder for us to even be able to dig around. And if we break anything extra, it's gonna be twice as hard. All right, guys, so let's head to how we are progressing on this manifold. Here you see one of these irrigations with drip. That thing is from the 50s, man. The cap to it, it looks like a regular bottle cap. So it was kind of weird for me, one of the first times I saw. You see the valves, we were able to replace and use the same ones, which saved him a lot of money. We were able to rewire everything before. He actually had a problem with the wiring, and that's how we got here first. We replaced the valves in the back, so you'll see a video of that. And another video of us spraying some houses. That's the old parts and we go ahead and start fresh and we're just gonna cover everything back up make it look like we were never here we left the parts that we used to confirm to the customer what we changed very important to leave the parts you changed behind all right guys so this is the same customer it was in the backyard we did it about three months ago so it's just a quick thing you want to see the video it's here it's about our first video on the irrigation album and go check it out it's only like two minutes it was awesome thanks all right guys welcome back here you see paola wheat spraying the hill that we did last week it's called with hillside wheat clearing go check it out i pulled all the weeds by hand it was crazy it was hot we did the whole house front and back we pulled out a different types of weeds for the customer and here we left a couple of the plants you can see paola walking through the hill she walks from plant to plant to be able to withstand on that hill if not she could possibly roll down but she's pretty good we're really experienced with hills so here we progress her to the other side and she's able to keep spraying and then she's able to hold herself on the rail when she needs to you know so she keeps going down it's always better to work down when you're spraying and it's probably better to work up when you're weed whacking it just depends it's probably better i don't know it just depends how you are used to it so you can tell on the left how big the weeds are man they were just as big on our side but we were able to pull them and now we're gonna weed spray because we probably don't ever want to pull weeds like that again that's the biggest motto i think so thanks for watching our video and stay up for tomorrow's and almost every day thank you guys a lot and thanks to all the new subscribers keep watching thanks